Do the Liberal Democrats have a stance on whether conditions such as autism should be considered to be a disease, or within the rise of the concept of neurodiversity, should they be considered another variant of normal? Um, I, I, I'm not sure that the Liberal Democrats have a specific policy on neurodiversity, as Leo puts it. Um, the Liberal Democrats would certainly not consider um, autism to be a disease. Um, they would consider it to be a condition. Um, you know, just like being a barrister is a condition, I suppose. And we are determined that disability or ability should not be a distinction uh, that is applied to people's lives. We just have to ensure that people can uh, get the best value out of their lives, however their personality is made up. Um, I, I feel very, very strongly about this issue and have spent a lot of my political life trying to have mental health treated like measles rather than something you never go near, you know, just another illness. And conditions like autism treated as part of a person's personality rather than as an illness. Would the Liberal Democrats endorse research into finding a cure into conditions that fall under the neurodiversity umbrella, such as those such as aut autism, Tourette's and dyslexia? Um, no, um, because it's not a condition that requires a cure. Um, if a person who, for example, has Tourette's wishes to take a very simple example to moderate the way in which they um, deal with social situations that come upon them unexpectedly, which can be a problem with Tourette's, then of course it is open to them to go and see someone um, and to seek help to modify that condition. But you know, the, the, the bottom line is there has to be self-determination. Self-determination with advice, we all take advice, even those of us who give a lot of advice also take a lot of advice. But within that context, I think self-determination is the key.